Now John and Sarah talk about how everyone needs to stop Judgment Day because it's the end of the world. But here's the fun fact. Judgment Day wasn't the end of the world. It was the end of the U.S. and Russia. The Terminator was filmed in 1983, the same time as the comic storyline X-Men Days of Future Past was being written. Also, the Days of Future Past movie director, Brian Singer, went to the Terminator's creator, James Cameron, to ask for advice on time travel, so clearly there was a connection between the two. X-Men Days of Future Past has robots take over the U.S. by enslaving both humans and mutants before they set their sights on the rest of the world, pushing the other free countries to nuke the U.S. to prevent them from doing so, even if it means killing the few innocent people who are left to fight the war to stop them. The Terminator in T2 states that Judgment Day was Skynet launching missiles towards Russia, resulting in Russia counterattacking to eliminate its enemies in the U.S. So T2 makes it clear that Judgment Day was merely the end of the two most powerful countries in the free world. Now some can argue that a few U.S. missiles might have went away from Russia to other parts of the world, especially since the U.S. had nukes stationed in other countries but not too many would have done severe damage to the other countries. Also, the Frakes and Wisher novels point out that the humans reproduced at an alarming rate, beginning to outpace Skynet's manufacturing capabilities, indicating that there would be more human soldiers than non-human. If the world had been completely nuked, there would be more machines than people. John Connor's Techcom resistance managed to defeat Skynet because their worldwide network grew due to other countries having survived Judgment Day. Most of the soldiers they had were from the Southern Hemisphere countries, mostly Africa, South America, and Australia. Australia. Most survivors of the nuclear war between the Northern Hemisphere superpowers lived below the equator. Therefore, Judgment Day, like in X-Men Days of Future Past to an extent, was merely the destruction of the U.S. and Russia, not the entire world. This means that while two superpowers were devastated, the war was mostly fought within the ruins of the United States since that was the country of Skynet's origin.